Hello again, everybody. Okay, here's a really easy, very cool math trick that was on Scam School about a year ago. It was in October of 2008, and this was sent to me by my friend Singing Banana, and he received this trick from my friend Jenai1997. So there are links to both of these guys right over here. I'll show you this trick. It's really cool. You'll amaze your friends and it's very easy. What you do is you hand the deck to a spectator and tell them to shuffle the cards and mix them as much as they like and you're going to make a prediction. They shuffle the cards. You write your prediction down on a piece of paper and put it aside. Now, you tell them to shuffle until they're happy that they've shuffled the cards. And then what you want them to do when they're ready is to turn over the cards two at a time. If there are two red cards, you put them in a red pile. If there are two black cards, you put them in a black pile. And if there's one red and one black, you put them face down and you discard them. So let's start. There's a red and black, we discard it. A red and black, discard it. Red and black, discard. Two reds, we'll put it in the red pile. Red and black, discard. Red and black, discard. Red and black, discard. Red and black, two reds. Red and black, 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 two blacks. Red and black, red and black, two blacks. Red and black, two reds. Red and black, two reds. Two blacks, two reds. Okay, so we'll take the discarded cards, put them in the box, and let's see how our prediction came true. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red cards, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six black cards. 10 red cards, six black cards, and our prediction was there will be four more red cards. Now, people will say, let me see that again. So you say, okay. You write down another prediction on another piece of paper, and you say, let's do that one more time. Take the cards, give them to the spectator, let them shuffle the cards as much as they like, and when they're ready and they feel they shuffle the cards, have them do it again. Red and black, discard. Two blacks, put it in the black pile. Red and black, discard. Two reds in the red pile. Red and black, 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 red and black. Two reds, two blacks, two reds, two blacks, two reds. Red and black, two reds, two blacks, two blacks, two blacks, two reds, red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black. Okay, let's see now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve reds, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blacks. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blacks. 12 reds, 12 blacks. Our prediction this time is the piles will be even. Okay, here's how you do the trick. What you do is you start off by taking four black cards and putting them in the box. So you hide four black cards in the box and you give the deck to a spectator to shuffle. It doesn't matter how they shuffle the cards. The cards will always end up with four more red cards than black cards. So your first prediction will be there will be four more red cards. Because what you're doing is, as you're grabbing groups of two, you're putting the two black cards together. When you discard a black card, you're discarding a red card. So for every red card, there's a black card being discarded, which means that after you go through this, there will always be four more red cards than black cards because you have four black cards hiding in the box. Most people won't realize the deck feels light with 48 cards. Um, then the second time you do this, because people will think you got lucky, and that's why you take the discarded cards that are face down and put them in the box with your four 
cards that you had discarded that you started the trick with. Then when you pull all the cards out, the second time you do the trick, you do it with 52 cards. And because there's 52 cards, the red and black cards will always be even. So your second prediction will be the piles will be even. And that's it. You do the trick twice and you blow people away. It's a pretty cool effect. Thank you, Singing Bananas. Thank you, Jedi 1997 That's it. I'll see you all next time.